you guys have been talking, I guess. Yeah. There's not, not a lot of respect coming out of there. Yeah, there's not a lot of respect. You know, uh, as Coach Kiffin calls it, he calls it rap poison. Uh, so, you know, you got people out there that's going to talk. But, we know, you got to keep that in the back of the mind and go out there and play with a chip on our shoulder. What does it mean to you when somebody goes on, like, an SEC network and uses the term soft? Yeah. <laughs> and... Yeah, Beat, beaten handily. Yeah, that that was like kind of disrespectful, but you know everybody has their opinion. But at the same time, we just gotta go out there and show them, you know, that we not soft and it's not gonna be like that. So you know, it just really it added more fire to me because like ain't none that we show is soft. So like we just gotta go down there and let them know. You guys talked about being dialed in for the first game and treating every game with respect. But mm -hmm. can you tell, like since Sunday and Monday, that things have kind of turned up? Uh, I just say it has, and I just say even today, when you know when the stuff came out about being soft and being, you know, it's about to be an easy win. You know, that kind of, that kind of like a slap in the face. You know, so we we gonna take it, we gonna take it personal, but in the day we gonna go play Kentucky football. What jumps off the tape when you look at film and see 15 out there? Uh, really, that you know he's a great quarterback. Uh, he can use his legs a lot. So, you know, we just really just got he, – he, overall, he's a great athlete, you know. So, we just got to go out there and contain him and do what we do. Coach White was telling us that there are plays against a guy like that where you can do everything right and he can still make something happen. Yeah. How, how do you kind of keep that in mind and keep your emotions in check to let it slide and play the next play? Uh, I could say what, what year was it? 2019, I played a quarterback like that, Joe Burrow. And that team right there, and it's kind of the same thing. And he got the best of me that game, so I got to make sure when I go play a quarterback who's at an elite level like uh, Richardson is that, you know, we just got to gotta take it to him, you know, take it to him. He's going to make some plays, but well, we got to make some plays at the same time. This as far as Florida? Yeah. Uh, you know, they O-line they play is hard. They give you a lot of eye candy, you know, shifts and motion. They get you lined up wrong and stuff like that. But uh, just, you know, they're a good team. But uh, I feel like our defense, we're going to go in. We know what they're going to give us, and we just got to, you know, take it to them. What's the main challenge for you as a linebacker when you have to deal with a dual-threat quarterback? Like uh, really just understand what my help is because, you know, he got tremendous speed. But, you know, if like I tell everybody, if the first guy missed, we got to make sure there's 10 other guys running after him because, you know, if he, you seen last game against Utah, he could take one to the crib in a minute. But if our whole team, you know, pursue him to the ball, you know, he might get some yards, but it's not going to be a touchdown. Is it easy as a defender to acknowledge that someone is going to break off a couple of chunk plays against you guys? You know, obviously the defense can't be perfect. What's that like for you? Um, You know, uh, like – I'm Monty Kiffin, I'll go back to Lane Kiffin. Monty Kiffin, uh, he, uh, so, so what now what, you know, Pete is football, you know, they on scholarship just like us, they're talented just like us. Big plays are going to happen. But it's like, what are we going to do after? You know, they get down to the red zone, you know, they in the red zone. Now we got to, you know, force a kick or force a turnover. So, you know, just like a so what now what mentality. What does it mean to you to have such a big SEC tilt this early in the season? Uh, really, it, it means a lot to me. I feel like, uh, for me, it gives me a chance to like showcase everything. You know, it's an ESPN game. You know, everybody gonna be watching. So it's like, it's like this, this what you dream for right here. Like a big time player got to show up right here, and I feel like that's what I got to do. Do you like this coming so early in the schedule? Like back in the old days, you'd play three or four of the non-conference, getting mm -hmm. ready for your conference schedule. But now you just jump right in there. Yeah, I feel. I mean, for me, it doesn't really matter matter to me. You know, so like. It could be the beginning of the season, end of the season. I mean, we're going to have to play them eventually. So it's like, let's, let's go ahead and get to it.